All right, y'all, two patches fishing. We're down here in a, in a creek. Uh, I've been wanting to fish this creek. There's a hole uh, right below the railroad tracks, um, right on the other side of the railroad tracks. And these railroad tracks are alive, so there's there's uh, trains that go come across here frequently, so it's gonna be noisy. So hopefully we'll get in there and fish and stuff, and the train will not be a bother until I'm, I'm all done here. Um, been wanting to fish this for a couple years, um, so this is my first time fishing it. We're gonna come down and get some bait. I'm using the drop shot rig, um, uh, just the, the same rig that I uh, recently rigged in the, uh, the last video. We're gonna use it here in the same same pole. You can see, using the dock runner, 36 inch, ugly stick. Give that a try. See you down here. All right, We're down here. It's a fairly shallow creek. It's wide, very clear creek. And I'll let the information down below where this creek's located at, where I'm fishing at under this video. Okay, the hole's back here. We got some riprap over here. Let's see what we got over here. We may spot and catch fish too. See so if we can see anything down here. I see a bunch of little ones down here. Nothing big. A bunch of little minnows. Oh, there's the river tracks. I've been wanting to fish this for a long time. Let's we'll see if we'll be able to. Should have worn my boots. At least forget my boots. At least forget my boots. Oh, this looks awesome. Look at this. I'll slip in there yet. I get myself in trouble. Look at that. Isn't that precious? I love them. I love creeks like this. I really love creeks like this. Get a frog. This is so precious. I'm gonna get on the other side. I said I should wear my boots, but it's not real deep. It may seep through my boots. The water's clear. What's that? I hope nothing falls in my head. The tracks are in big ties. Oh, yeah. This looks really incredible. There's fish in here. I gotta climb this. Oh boy. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. This is slippery. Slippery, slippery. Probably scare the fish away. All the stones are probably gonna go in the water. Like I said. There you go. I'll make sure no one's down here. This place could be pretty shady. <laughs> Right. Huh? We got a hole right in there. Let's get baited up and see what we can find here. It's a cool little, cool little place. Cool little hideout. I'm gonna use red wigglers. Let's go like a, maybe a half of one. Using the drop shot rig. Hopefully it won't be as dark as it is in the, but I'm here to see it's kind of dark as it is in the camera. So let's get that bait on there. Let's see what we can pull out of here. I may not pull anything out of here. There might be nothing in here. Tell them to hurry. That's our drop shot rig. So we're using the same rig that I used, or tied up, I should say. 
the last video. The hook's about a foot, a foot from the uh, from the weight. As you can see, it's a Palmer knot. This hook will stay stand straight out. A fish come up and get it. Right. Well, it's not where I want it. Get it snagged over there. There you go, that's where I want it. Hey, you know what? I got a bite already, man. That's awesome. That was actually a pretty good tug. I'm not sure what that was. Could be a sunfish. Maybe a nice creek chub. That'd be sweet. <laughs> it's a little fish. There we go. We got him. Yep, that's what it is. A little sunfish. We'll go ahead and keep him. Get this bucket full. That's some good bait there. Some good bait. Let's go over here so we want to scare the fish. Not thinking we'll scare too many of them fish away, but that's a good clear water. See how many are in there. Hopefully there's quite a few in there. We'll get the aerator going. Okay. Oh, see there. There we go. Nice little sunfish. Great bait. Make excellent bait. See if we catch another. Who am I taking a dozen home? A dozen of those. They make good pike bait, so eventually I'm gonna do some pike fishing uh, this year. This fall, I should say. First time using the dock runner. That was my first fish on this on this pole. Little dock runner. Alright, let's get another one. Oh. I'm not sure they'll bite that close or not. Yeah, they will. Another one. Ooh, a little bigger one. Oh, sweet. Look at the colors. Look at those beautiful colors. Pretty colors there. Now, these make really good bass uh, pike bait. Excellent pike bait. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can grab another. Going down here. I'm gonna cast over by that tree over there. They are hungry. They are hungry. Oh, what we got here? Oh, a creek chub. Look at that. Got a nice creek chub. There you go. We got creek chubs in here. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. You get that bait tank filled up, as you guys noticed. My other video. I get that bait tank filled up. Let's see if there's more creek chubs over there. This is a lot of fun. I really like these rods. Ooh, that's a that was a nice fish. That was a big bite. He's following it right now. He's gonna get it right here in front of me. I say they probably have no fear of man. <laughs> ah, there's a little bait on there yet. Yeah, we can get it. There you go. Come on, creek chubs. Ooh, that's a nice sunfish. That's a big one there. That's a nice one. That is a nice one there. I'll take him. Take you. Find no choice. There we go. Throwing you back, I got you right in the eyeball. Straighten it. Some of these are hooks you gotta straighten back out, so. There you go. 
Man, this is so much fun. We're catching bait. I'm glad I got here. Oh, there we go. Now we got a football game going on, so that's not a war, guys. <laughs> it's not a war. There's a football game going on here in a small community called Butler, Indiana. That's just outskirts of Butler here fishing. Boy, there's a lot of fish in here. It's a great pool. Oh, nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Look at the size of this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a nice one there. You're a pretty one. You're a pretty one. Yes, you are. Look at the colors in that, if you can see that. That's a pretty fish. We're gonna get that bait tank filled up. That is sweet. Let me get rid of this tree here. Come back for it. Well, I really like these rods, friends. Well, cool. yeah, I got bait under it. I really like these rods. Nice, easy casting rods. You know, you're not messing with six foot rods. I could probably do the same thing with the with the uh, cane pole. There you go. Let's try to bring that bait down. That bait was way up that shank or the hook. A lot of bait in here. Well, that was a good bite. That was a good bite. It's got an itty bitty piece of worm on there. Oh, itty bitty piece of worm. It's easy to cast this too. I didn't do anything to it straight out of the package. That was a huge bite there. I'm not sure what that was, but. I think we got him. Oh, look at that. I'm glad I'm getting him. I don't know if my bucket's gonna have enough room getting all this bait. We're gonna have to take him up and put him in the, uh... I'm gonna get that other piece of worm out. Get that on there. See if we get bigger bait. There's an itty bitty piece of worm on there. I found me a new place for bait. Okay. It's getting dark. I don't oh, video but I don't see anything. There you go. Let's do this. Boom. Go back and put it to most of it off. The school's uh, knowing to shoot off a cannon. <laughs> Time to motivate the team a little bit. There you go. Well, that's fun to catch. They're so much fun to catch, these sunfish. Now, these sunfish are very aggressive, so when you put use them for bait, they're excellent for bait. This dock runner pulls awesome. I'm glad I purchased it. There we go, another one. Well, we're gonna fill that bait tank up. We're gonna fill that bait tank up. Now, this drop shot rig is very awesome. It's amazing. It's you feel just the tug on the. You tighten your line up when you throw it in. Just tighten your line up. Take the slack out, throw it to your spot, reel it in, tug it up a little bit because that weight will keep your line tight, and boom, got a fish. Drop shot uh, 
fishing is very effective because it takes the bait right down where the fish are. Like I said, I got I got a little shallow um, a drop shot rig because of being a creek fish and I don't need it that deep. These fish are hungry. It looks like the fish are a little bigger by that tree over there. Uh oh, that might be it. There's a fish on that. Yeah, there is a fish on that. We'll see if you get me undone. I got a fish hooked on the, hooked on. <laughs> I got my drop shot. I think my drop shot's caught my, my weight. Get around here so we get it undone. There we go. We got it undone. We got our fish too. <laughs> There you go. All right. Got her fish. We got her fish. Sorry, buddy. I kind of beat you against the rocks there. Let's get another worm on there. Can't stand on too long because those sunfish got bigger mouths. So it wouldn't, doesn't hurt to put a little extra worm on there. Their mouths are bigger than bluegill. Even even that being that small. Yeah, big mouths. They kind of look like rock bass. They can, can get confused really easy with rock bass. Oh, right there. Oh, well, that's a perfect spot right there. That's where I'm getting my big ones anyway. There you go. <laughs> This is awesome. I'm loving it. You get plenty of bait. I got a container back of the Jeep where I can dump these in so they have more room. Not a whole lot of room in that bucket here. Okay. I'm gonna show what my videos will look like being so dark. Another one. Oh, he came off. That rascal. Cast over there a second. Oh. I'm not trying to cast too hard. I'm still learning this weight. I'll follow my bait. Let's cast right in here once we'll find. too shallow there like six inches deep I'm just seeing maybe some fish maybe swam over there since it's getting darker a lot of fish in there a lot of fish in there we got here creek chub yep sure do we get ourselves creek chub now this is the time of the year I like to fill my bait tank up to the fullest a lot of bait because when once these waters get really cold these fish will move out of here and they're going to be very difficult to catch because they're going to be going deeper water so i'm filling my bait tank up right now i got a a 40 gallon uh, cooler it's all rigged up for bait and i'm going to load that thing up with bait so I can have plenty of bait for fall fishing. There go, another sunfish. I'm gonna stay down here just a little bit longer, but not much longer because it's getting dark and I don't, I don't even bring any light down here to watch myself go back, so. Well, you're a slimy sunfish, couldn't get you off. Okay. Catch as many as we can here. Another one. Good, 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 good. Another, that's a beautiful fish there. 
think we got maybe a coon. That's a coon den, I think. We got up in that tree there. Okay. Now, if I can't hardly see my hook, then we're probably in trouble. <laughs> Going back. Oh, now where's that hook? There it is. Got you good. Okay. All right. There we go. Another one. <laughs> so much fun. So much fun. I'm gonna be happy when that bait tank uh, gets full. You see that tip move. <laughs> it just leaped on that. That's awesome. Another creek chub. Not one big one, but I, these are just a little smaller. These are nice little fish. Nice little fish. Well, friends, I'm gonna catch one more. I got enough bait in there for now. And we'll head out of here if it's too dark. Let's do one more fish. There we go. That'd be a creek chub. There you go. We got a creek chub. Okay. There we go. Look at that. You gotta be careful taking these creek chubs off. It doesn't take much to kill them. All right. There we go, friends. Clean my hook off. We're good to go. That was a lot of fun. Drop shot rig, fishing in the creek. First time fishing here. As you can see the, hopefully you'll be able to see that in the video. I mean, it's real shallow right there. This, this creek is really shallow. And down here, just look at this pool of water. We got roots, vegetation. Then you get over here, I walked across there, it's only three inches deep. So this is what you want to find. Drop shot in here. Bobber be fine, but one problem with having a bobber in here is that there's current here. So that bobber will probably float away. It won't stay where you want it. Um, so drop shot rig will be perfect right here and catch a lot of fish in drop shot rig. Um, so, okay. This is Two Passions Fishing. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. And see you in the next video. Praise God. God bless you all. And I'm praying for each one of you, my subscribers. I'm praying for each and every one of you. So again, I'm using a, uh, a dock runner, 36 inch ugly stick rod. It's in there. Uh, spin casting reel combo. Uh, paid 16 bucks for it. It's a nice rod. I love it. I mean, it's perfect for uh, small creeks. All right, we're out of here. Thanks for watching. <laughs>